Today is the first day in almost six months that I have been to Costco. And you guys know me, I love my Costco runs, I love doing my Costco hauls, and I know you guys love them as well. So I made my way up to Costco, and it's about 45-ish minutes from us, and uh, we have a Sam's Club right by us, so I've been venturing there just for more like the basics and, you know, that type of thing. But I have been having an itch to go to Costco. I wanna see what's new. I'm missing some of my favorite items, some of the staples in our pantry. So I'm gonna go do a big restock. I'm gonna wander through the aisles and see what I can find. And I know there was a request, I think in the last Costco haul, not to just do like a haul once I get home, but to kind of do more of like a little bit of a vlog style and kind of document <laughs> when I'm actually in Costco. So we're gonna attempt that this time. So welcome to today's Costco vlog and haul. Let's go see what's new at Costco. So I don't know if everyone gets this excited to go to Costco. Uh, my family grew up going to Costco like every Sunday. It was like our Sunday activity. Um, so in a way it's kind of nostalgic as well as I just love buying in bulk and I think it's, I think Costco is fun. So if you think Costco is fun, let me know down below <laughs> if you're just as weird as I am. <laughs> So I'm being very daring this time. I did not write a Costco list. Normally I come with like a list of items that I need. Being that I haven't been here in so long, I thought it'd be literally fun to come enjoy myself and wander through each aisle and see what I need, what I want, and what I should buy. <laughs> in one of my last vlogs, I talked about my Bissell like little green machine that I use on my carpets and on my furniture because of the dogs and just dirt, stains, whatever. On Amazon, I got mine for 150, but they currently are at Costco for $100 right there. So little note, add that to your shopping list, buy it online on Costco if you have a membership um, because this is a staple in my house and it's a lifesaver when it comes to dogs husbands dirt if you guys have kids i don't have kids yet but we have a husband and dogs <laughs> so this is the cookware that i have at the house um i got this a few years ago it's a great price for as many pots and pans as you get and they've lasted i don't know almost like five years and they still look brand new so if you're looking for a new cookware set highly recommend this one Something I always like to check when I'm at Costco are the plants. I always have great luck here. Last year I got like a ton of hydrangeas and like sunflowers, um, but these look more like house plants. And right now I think we're kind of good on house plants. Um, but somebody had said that they had roses at their Costco and that I should check. So thought I would check. We're not at ours, but check yours to see if you guys have rose bushes because whenever you can get those at like Costco or Sam's, it's always. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> So nothing too crazy in the fruits and vegetables. Just grab some things that I normally don't grab at Sam's Club because either they don't have it or you know, just a few different things. So now I'm going to go through the meat section. Um, theirs is very different than Sam's, I feel like. So I'm going to see what I can find and probably grab a few things that I'm used to getting or that ha I have gotten. So let's just see what they have here. Ooh, that salmon looks good. So we have entered out of the fruits and veggies and the meat section. We found a lot of like fruits and veggies. Uh, we've been trying to eat really clean and kind of reset. So I passed on some and most of like my pre-packaged things in that section. Um, but anyways, we now have made it to the cleaning section and I need a restock. <laughs> I've almost made it through all of my cleaning stuff. Like I need OxyClean and a few other things. So let's restock all of my cleaning stuff. Now 
are going to venture to the frozen section and see what's new here. I always try to be really good in this section and not just buy random stuff and like fill up our freezer. So I only try to buy like really intentionally because <laughs> otherwise things just like sit in our freezer forever. Like in fact, I need to go through it. So we'll probably have to do that later today after this Costco run. So I kept the frozen section to a minimum. Um, I try to just restock things that I know we will eat, like the grass-fed burgers, stir-fried veggies, and just easy things to keep on hand, but of good quality. So now, let's check out all the sauces. seriously have one full cart so I'm gonna power through this snack section and then get to checking out so that way we can get home because <laughs> it's a lot of food but we really had like nothing in our fridge so it was much needed so all right let's power through this from Costco. I <laughs> did some damage today, that's for sure, but we got a lot of good things and a lot of things that we definitely needed to restock up on. So I'm gonna quickly move through this being that I kind of already vlogged the process. I don't wanna be like too redundant. So I'll just quickly show you guys what I got. And um, then at the end, because I think it's kind of fascinating, <laughs> I will share how much I spent at this Costco trip. Oh, I don't normally do that, but this one was mean. So I need to let somebody else feel my pain. <laughs> Plus I think sometimes it's interesting because you are buying in bulk. And sometimes I see people do like these Costco hauls or like grocery hauls and I'm like, how much did you spend for all that stuff? So I thought it was kind of fascinating. So I guess I will be sharing that today. Without further ado, we are going to power through this. We went ahead and grabbed some organic eggs. These are the ones I always get. They have them at Sam's as well. So just always grab them whenever I am at either. The tried and true Columbus uh, reduced sodium Italian dry salami. Um, I like to freeze one package and then I keep one in the fridge. And then I like to use them for like cheese plates as well as I will spice up our pizzas. I have a cauliflower pizza in here somewhere. And I will add that to it and just kind of jazz up our pizzas. Go ahead and grab some filet mignon. I personally like the filets. I like to cut them in half. So I end up almost getting like double the amount um, because I'll cook Sawyer like two thinner ones and I'll cook myself one thin one. So that's kind of how I get away with buying filet mignons but making them last like three or four meals. Freeze them in baggies and then pull them out as we need them. Boneless lamb leg. I will cut this in half as well and freeze one and then we have two meals. Um, I love lamb, that's one of my favorite. I eat it with mint jelly. One of my favorite meals ever. <laughs> and then with the leftovers, I will just make little gyros with um, the sauce and pita and it's really good. Just a little trick with leftover lamb, you kind of get two meals out of it. And then, these are cool, these were new. I hadn't seen these before. This is the real good chicken and pepper jack cheese burritos. They're 13 net carbs and 37 grams of protein. I read about them before and we've tried some of their things and really like it. So I thought we would grab this and see how I like it. Some hummus. This is a trio. It's the red pepper classic and cilantro lime. Sawyer's been very into hummus with celery and carrots. Some organic baby bella mushrooms. Grapes and some southern peaches. I'm so excited for peaches. I love fresh cut peaches. I just will cut them and eat them as snacks all day. So I bet this container will last me like three days. I love peaches. And the sweet kale flavor. I really like the poppy seed um, dressing mixed with like the cranberries. It's really good with like 
Cajun or blackened chicken, or I've also mixed it up with like a steak. The steak is a really nice like contrast to the sweeter dressing. So I grabbed a package of the Kirkland Italian sausage and beef lasagna. This is one of my favorite lasagnas. Funny story actually with the lasagna. Well, it's funny to me. <laughs> so a lot of us wives that live in this area, um, we were sitting at dinner one night and I was talking about Costco and we were just somehow got on the topic of lasagna. And I said, oh my God, next time you guys go to Costco, make sure you grab the lasagna. And they're like, oh, we don't go up there that often. If you do go up there, grab some lasagna. I was like, all right, so I guess we're gonna have a lasagna party. I'm gonna text them and be like, got the goods. Let's plan a night and do an easy dinner for everyone and eat the two containers of lasagna. <laughs> Celery for Sawyer's uh, hummus. Columbus turkey burgers. I love having these on hand. I make them for like a quick lunch or throw them on the grill, jazz them up a little bit with like some Swiss cheese. And it's just, again, a really easy lunch or dinner. My black forest ham and my um, herb roasted turkey. This one's Columbus and this one is Kirkland. I'm very picky, very picky about my lunch meat. I do not like it to feel like slimy or really processed. I like when it feels more like carved. And so this time I'm gonna be smart. <laughs> I'm gonna open up these packages and freeze half of it because most of the time we can't finish all of this before it goes bad. So I'm gonna split it up. And that's the other thing. A lot of people wonder why um, Sora and I shop at Costco, mainly because I like to, um, I really do. I really enjoy it. Also, if you're smart about it, you will have meals for a very long time. A lot of this stuff will last us forever. Um, like I said, if I split up the meat and don't let it go bad and pull it out of the freezer, you get a nice bang for your buck. And tikka masala. Um, I like to actually grab the jars of sauces and just like make my own. Um, they didn't have the jars this time and I wanted something easy to have on hand when I need to do a quick dinner. So I just grabbed this. I do prefer the jars if you can find it. They do normally have them there. Not this time, so I went ahead and just grabbed this when I need an easy lunch or dinner. And then I also grabbed this sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. I guess it's already pre-done. The ingredients looked very clean, like very clean. So I was very impressed by that. And I thought this would be really nice to put over that salad that I was talking about. We'll try this out. I'll let you know if it's good. I grabbed a package of the organic ground beef. It is 85% lean, 15% fat, no um, antibiotics and no growth hormones. So um, I got this. I like to keep this in the freezer just to have for tacos or what, obviously whatever we need. Um, yeah, definitely beneficial to get it at Costco as well, but I do need to rinse this. Organic ground turkey. Um, this is only two pounds, so normally they have a bigger package, but uh, these are just easy, again, to pop in the freezer, pull them out when you need it. Um, I like actually using turkey a lot more than beef, but every once in a while you just need beef for recipes. And then I grabbed a new package of burgers. This is by Kirkland and it's 100% grass-fed beef patties and they're one third pounds. Uh, we just finished our last package and I thought with summer, it's probably smart to have just burgers on hand so that way we can just barbecue whenever we want. <laughs> I always love that. Growing up, barbecuing was like a big part of my life and um, my dad always was just like calling people over, inviting people over for like burgers and like a new creation that he was cooking. So that's just something that I've always learned. You just keep like burgers and hot dogs and barbecue items on hand so you can throw a barbecue whenever you want. So. That is what that's for. We have tonight's dinner. All of my tried and true Costco haul lovers will know that I am a big sucker for the Costco stuffed bell peppers. And they're always the meal that I cook on Costco shopping days because after doing all of this and driving, you know, two hours back and forth or round trip, or whatever, um, I'm just exhausted and I don't feel like cooking. Jazz it up with a few spices, pop them in the oven, boom, home cooked meal from Costco. All right, so I think that's all the main grocery items. I think we have like some fruits and stuff, so we'll get to that, but I need to get some of this in the freezer. Needs to get into the fridge ASAP. Okay, so <laughs> that load is now in the fridge and freezer and I'm realizing how quickly I am running out of spaces. So, fingers crossed that 
I get all this in a home. <laughs> this is a new item that we have not tried before. This is a Mediterranean orzo pasta salad, which sounded really good. It has like spinach, dried tomatoes, um, olives, and like salami. So I figured that'd be a nice snack for lunch or a side for dinner. I grabbed a bag of the Kirkland Boneless Skinless Chicken Tenderloins. This is a staple in our freezer. I like the tenderloins because they're really easy to um, thaw as well as, um, I don't know, I just like them better than breasts. They're easier to cook and I just use them so many ways. And I also was looking for this in an organic version. I didn't see it, but I feel like it's out there. So maybe I was looking in the wrong section. Maybe they're like not frozen, so I don't know. If you know of an organic version at Costco, let me know. Some chia seeds, that's more of a pantry item. Spinach and cheese ravioli. This is the organic version. I used to get the ones in like the freezer bags, um, but I just like these better. They taste like a fresher pasta. The last time I made these, it was really yummy. I used a Alfredo sauce, which I'll show you in a second. And I did like garlic and mushrooms and created a really yummy um, sauce. I think I even had wine in there, it was really nice. These smoked salmon. I like to make like a lox in the morning on a piece of sourdough with a um, like cream cheese spread. It's really good. Stir fried veggies. This is a really nice staple to have in the house. Um, super easy when you do, um, what do I do? Chicken, teriyaki chicken bowls. And um, I'll just do it over rice with chicken and teriyaki and soy sauce, just super simple. And these stir fried veggies, make the world of difference. <laughs> Makes it so easy. The Kirkland Supreme Cauliflower Crust. Um, cauliflower crust is kind of hard. I don't mind it as much. Sawyer isn't the biggest fan of it, but this is one that, I don't know, the crust is actually very, very crispy, really nice. And um, you can kind of jazz it up and make it not feel like a healthier pizza. It's still a frozen pizza. Like there's no way to get around it. It is <laughs> a frozen pizza. Um, I just try to jazz it up as much as I can and yeah, but I do like it. It's just a little harder sale sometimes in the household. <laughs> So I think it's confirmed that was all of the fridge items. Woohoo! Um, well, except this right here, which is lettuce. This is artisan romaine. So I normally get like the normal classic romaine that they sell there, but I thought it'd be nice to try something a little different. Um, and also, I feel like we don't need that much lettuce. And I wanted to try something because I've seen it done before and it sounds really good, but have you ever heard of a grilled Caesar salad? You literally cut the romaine, throw it on the grill, I think with a little olive oil or something. I'll have to triple check this. Um, but then you like drizzle the balsamic and Caesar dressing on, throw a little crouton, something like that, some chicken. I'll let you know. But you use the smaller artisan lettuce for that. So it's like a balancing act in there. <laughs> Moving on to some pantry items. I grabbed the Old Bay seasoning. I really want to do like a crab oil and do like the potatoes and corn and you need this. And this should be a staple in everybody's kitchen. So I didn't have it, so I grabbed it. And then I also grabbed this all natural taco seasoning. This is by the Spice Lab. I've never had it, but I love having taco seasoning on hand. And I always buy the little packets and I don't know, it just seems like a waste when I could just have a big bottle of it whenever I need right here. There's that, minced garlic, tried and true, always in my fridge, we ran out and we like didn't know how to function. We do have fresh garlic, we do use that for some, you know, some things. But sometimes it's just nice to be able to like grab a little garlic, throw it in there and be done. Like the other day, so I was like, where's the garlic? And I'm like, I'm out. I know, I gotta go to Costco. He said it just like that, in case you're wondering. All right, now for the Alfredo sauce I was talking about. This is the Rouse, Rouse, Rayo's Home Style Premium Traditional Crafted Alfredo. This, my friends, is actually not as bad for you as you would think. When you look at the nutrition facts, it's probably the best Alfredo sauce that I have found as far as like um, like sugar and fat and all of that. Um, and I think the ingredients are pretty okay. Pretty okay? Don't quote me on that. Do not. But I do appreciate this. This isn't like loaded with fat and all that. I feel better eating it knowing that. So anyways, Alfredo sauce. The Rayo's marinara. This is a staple in our home. We use probably a jar of this a week. A jar of salsa, and I actually haven't tried this one before, but it is the Garden Fresh Organic Jack's Cantina Salsa. 
Um, I'm very picky about my salsa, so I kind of really committed to this before I knew if I liked it, but it'll get eaten. Something we really needed was peanut butter. And when I make my protein shakes, I use the PB like powder, the peanut butter powder, as well as a scoop of the like actual peanut butter. And I needed an natural one. So I got this organic one from Costco. I don't know if I've actually had this one, so I'll try it and let you know. A bag of lemons. First of all, I love these as a display item in my bowls. Always good, always looks so pretty, especially for like spring and summer. Um, plus we do use them in our juicer. Little potatoes, I love doing these in the air fryer and just doing like roasted veggies in the oven. So we always go through these potatoes. And we didn't have was any more backstock of macaroni, which I know sounds <laughs> not, I guess it's not weird. I guess it's a staple in everybody's house, I think. Um, but I actually genuinely love macaroni and every once in a while you're just craving like, you know, like, that nostalgic kids meal. Um, so I grabbed the Anne's Organic Variety Pack. Um, it has a few different flavors, but it's also good for hurricane season, which I think actually happens here at the end of summer. So I figured might as well start grabbing a few things that work for that as well. So we have macaroni. So I love applesauce. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. When we go golfing, I love bringing snacks with me. And I figured when I saw these little pouches when I was roaming the aisles, I'm like, wait. That sounds like a nice snack to have on hand. Um, so I grabbed the organic applesauce and they're just little pouches so they're easy for like on the go. And um, yeah, that's my story about my applesauce. It's gonna be my golfing snack. <laughs> I got chia seeds. Um, I heard it's like really good for fiber. I want to add it to my protein shakes. Thought about doing like I've been really into oatmeal, so either overnight oats or homemade oatmeal. And thought about adding them in here. So if you have any recipes or anything that you like to add chia seeds into, let me know because now I have a big bag of them. <laughs> so I swear we're getting close. And I did tell you this is a full restock, so. You guys wanted a Costco haul. You, my friends, are getting a Costco haul. <laughs> All right, we have the mini watermelons, perfect for summer, uh, perfect to bring as a snack when golfing, perfect for a barbecue, and we didn't have any, and I haven't had watermelon in a very long time. So I grabbed these mini seedless watermelons, which are my favorite, and they always seem to be a little sweeter too. So I'm almost out of like my rolled oats. So I grabbed this big bag of sprouted gluten-free rolled oats. Um, it's good for oatmeal and good for baking, which is pretty much what I use. Well, I guess that's all you can use oats for. So that statement didn't quite make sense, but yeah, oatmeal and baking. That's why I got it. That's their purpose. <laughs> parchment paper. I like using parchment paper when I can, like over foil and whatnot. Some avocados, some dried mangoes. Great golf snack as well. I get so hungry when we're out there for hours because it's like so hot. So I've been needing to find some snacks to bring out there. So another easy snack to grab is the That's It mini fruit bars. And I like that they're mini, so they kind of taste like a, like a mini fruit lighter to me or like a healthy, gummy snacks. So these have three flavors, mango, strawberry, and blueberry. And I also like to keep these in my car as a snack. So they're just easy to have and grab. Now it's always impressive to me when I can finish a bag of these croutons. I like take big pride in it when I'm like, whew, we did it. This is like a hefty bag of croutons and we we're literally like almost done with that bag. So I knew that I needed to think ahead, so I just went ahead and grabbed one. Now a little trick with um, this non bread, this is the Stonefire Mini Non Original. Um, there's a lot in there and it actually goes bad pretty fast. So I actually keep this in the freezer and then pull them out as we need them. So if I'm making like gyros or if I'm um, making like chicken tikka masala, whatever it is, I just pull them out as needed and it's very easy and makes it last a very long time. This is probably one of my favorite snacks. They actually have this at Sam's Club as well. So I discovered these, I don't know, a couple months ago and I've been obsessed, but these are Girl Scout Thin Mint Pretzels. Oh, they're so good when you just want like a sweet treat, but also a little salty. And I love chocolate covered pretzels, but add like the Thin Mint aspect to it. Oh, keep them in the freezer. You see these at your Costco, just get them. You'll thank me later. Last thing in this bag are some new socks. <laughs> I love the K-Bell socks. They're like my absolute favorite and mine have seen better days. They, I just needed a new pack. I needed a fresh start with socks. So we did it today without the socks. I 
Should not have opened that bag. These are dangerous. Get these at your own risk. We are almost done. And it's actually kind of funny that I've been doing these hauls now for, I feel like a good bit of time that I kind of don't have a routine as far as like how I present my items, like my category. Anyways, most of the time it has to do with what needs to go in the fridge and freezer first and what doesn't. <laughs> so we've made it to that portion of the video. And I guess this isn't a cleaning product, but I do love the Kirkland Organic Lemonade. It is one of my favorites. I really like it with iced tea, be more of like an Arnold Palmer vibe. All right, now cleaning products. I needed quite a few things, so I just went ahead and did it. So starting with my Tide laundry detergent. This is one that we've been using for years. I really like the powdered form. I use it for other things as well. Like I use it as a cleaning solution. It just makes the house smell so good. Um, you really can use Tide for so many things. Um, but do your own research, obviously. But I really do love this as our laundry detergent. There's just something so classic about like the powdered Tide. So when it comes to dusting, um, I really do like the Swiffer Heavy Duty Dusters. Um, I really think it cleans and clings the dust pretty well. Um, I hate using a rag. I just feel like it just leaves it behind or in other areas. So for some reason, Swiffer does dusters right and it just works really well. And then I restocked on my Lysol Advanced Power Clean Gel. So not much to say about toilet cleaner, <laughs> but that we needed more. And then I grabbed some OxyClean. I was completely out of this. I add this to every one of my white loads. Um, also, when I'm trying to get a stain out of something, OxyClean is my, honestly, I think it's like one of my secret weapons. I absolutely love it. So Dawn dish soap. I don't use anything else. This will get, fun fact, this will get grease out of almost anything. I use it on clothes. Um, I've gotten oil, like really thick oil like greasy oil out of, what was it? I don't even know, I think it was like one of Sawyer's shirts, but I got it out using um, Dawn dish soap. I clean my walls with this, I clean obviously my dishes. It has some secret magical power to it. So I love my scrub daddies. These are one of my favorite cleaning tools. Um, I love my other sponges, you know, like with the blue scrubby on the back, <clears throat> tried and true, but these are just great for other things. I like that they're soft but they really get the job done. And I normally like getting just like the gray or white ones, but every once in a while, I don't know what other colors are in here. I think there's yellow, blue, green, orange, white, and gray. But every once in a while, I like matching my scrub daddies to like the season. So like around Halloween, I'll use my orange one and around Christmas, I'll use my green one. Cause then I don't feel weird using like a colored sponge, if that makes sense because I normally like to keep things as neutral, you know, aesthetically pleasing as possible because why not? I mean, if you if they sell a white one or a gray one, I'll opt, normally opt for that. <laughs> but in this case, it was such a great deal and I can just use the colored ones around the time of the year that it fits best. Well, my friends, we have made it to the very last item. There should be no surprise that I needed more paper towels. We go through paper towels in this household like it's our job between a puppy and between Ollie and between Sawyer and me and life. Sometimes you just need more paper towels. Not that I need to explain why we use paper towels, but anyways, um, these last me forever though. I really like how big of a roll that the um, Kirkland brand gives. It's like a really big roll and it's select a size which is great because you don't end up using or wasting as much. So anyways, I always grab the Costco ones over anything else. So restocked on that. Well, there you have it. That was my Costco haul in full restock. That was a lot, but much needed. And I am so glad you guys have been requesting this video because I needed to go to Costco. And so I love when I'm able to get something off of my list, but also give you guys something that you guys were asking for. So I hoped this inspired you to try different things at Costco and I hope you guys enjoyed kind of more of like the vlogging process at the beginning. Um, I'm excited to edit that and kind of see how it kind of comes together <laughs> with like the haul. I'm sure it'll be a little more entertaining. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know down below and also let me know like some of your favorite current Costco items that you have been loving so I can add it to my list and try it next time I go up there because I think I need to venture up there a little more frequently. 
I had just lost my train of thought and I'm sitting here going, I know there was something I was supposed to end this video with and tell them about, and it was supposed to be the total. So let me grab the receipt. This one hurt my heart a little bit, but it was necessary. So after everything that I shared with you, which was 59 items, the total came out to $794.07. See why that hurt my heart just a little bit? Here's the thing. <laughs> when I do a full restock and I'm getting like all the cleaning items and I'm getting like spices and back stock items, it definitely adds up more than if I'm just going for like that week's necessities or that week's groceries. So I feel like that's the difference between like one of my normal Costco runs and like a full restock of items that we're completely out of. That Costco run always hurts me. So, that being said, that was my Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. All the good classic YouTube stuff. And also, let me know what other types of videos you guys would like to see. If you guys like more of the vlog stuff, if you like more of like the grocery haul things, I don't know, just let me know. I've been planning out videos and starting to get more ideas. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Guess how much Costco was today? 8.50. Nope, lower. But that was a pretty damn good guess. 8.36. No. 7.59. $794. Jesus, what did you get? I restocked everything. So we have dinner? <laughs> we have more than just dinner. Okay, good. <laughs>